it's after lunch. Uh, we just did our groceries. It's a cold one today. Anyway, here's what's happening this afternoon at Utopia Farms. They choose to stay indoors when the weather's crappy. This is our opportunity to trim the used hooves. See, she's excited. But it's scary. And I was having nightmares about the bale falling down on me. Get back, get back from where you're coming. This is the most exciting thing now, because it's something new. Getting groceries today, and we're having a little snowstorm. This isn't very funny. It's worse than the one the other day. Nasty. We're we're doing afternoon feedings here. These guys are pretty well mastered on their bottle holder. And those are non-bottle babies in the back. Having a little mad half hour back there. A lot of these would be monsters lambs. now. The stragglers on one side and the rams on the other. The door is constantly open for the rams, but the weather's been so lousy that it's actually rare to see the rams out there. They have the choice to go outside, but they choose to stay indoors when the weather's crappy. So I always figure that tells you everything when they have the option. If they only have the option to stay outside, then they're going to stay outside. If they only can stay inside, then the outside is something not appealing. But I figure when they can do whatever they want, that tells you what the sheep want, what not what the people want. Because a lot of times they may not be the same things. These stragglers, they're holding on like crazy. And I was just checking the udders and a lot of them have udders. So I don't know what the pause was. But I'm guessing, again, when somebody starts up, it's going to be a little flurry again. And we haven't seen Scotty for a while. There he is. Hi, Scotty! Hi, buddy. Hi there. Hi. How you doing? We haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, because if we pet you too much, you bite. <laughs> but you're a good pussycat, aren't you? Yes, you are a good pussycat, but you, you want to bite and scratch. It's not very nice. <laughs> Ow. Okay, we haven't showed what we do when we let the sheep out of the jugs for a while. So for all the new subscribers, this is our routine. This uh, lamb and mom have been in the jug for a couple of days. We know they're doing okay. I've tagged and done all the stuff that needs doing with the lamb. And now this is our opportunity to trim the used hooves before she goes out. So instead of doing a day or six of us trimming hundreds of sheep all at once, we basically do all the use as they leave the jug. So no normally he would only have to do one sheep at a time. <coughs> Makes it a little bit easier and it's convenient and we know that they're all done when they leave the jug. Here. Okay. The other thing we do while they're in the jug is we deworm them. We 
were just told that after lambing, if they had any worms in their system, that the lambing will trigger the worms to become active again if they had been kind of hibernating in the lining of their stomach over winter. So to be safe, we deworm them with Ivamec, which is what we did with her. And then we let the ewe out with her lamb and she has the proud walk of fame because she graduated from the lambing jog. That means she's well bonded with her lamb. The lamb's nursing well and all is doing well. And we're gonna let her into the family group now. Normally we sort them by breed, but right now we're dealing with stragglers. So she's gonna go in with these dorsets and this lamb's gonna be happy to have some playmates. Follow your mom, follow your mom. There you go. Come on, follow your mom. There you go. Come on in, mom. There you go. See, and she's a very attentive mom. She didn't run off like crazy like some moms do when you let them in here. She's uh, totally focused on her lamb. And her lamb now will explore around here and have some fun playing with these white guys. And this is Monster's lamb. She's a really nice lamb. Aren't you? You're really nice. And she's got a really nice personality. When Arnie would let her out of the jug and she would actually follow him around and want to play with him. Not a bottle baby, not handled or anything. So we're just back with the triplets in the jugs again and we're hoping tomorrow the weather will be a little better and the dorsets in the family group here on the other side. We'll bring over to the coveralls and we're gonna leave the Suffolk behind because we want her to eventually go with this lamb into the Suffolk group in the coveralls. But until then, we're gonna leave her because her lamb's a little younger to go into a huge group. And we're gonna let the triplets out here with her. So those two will have run of the roost for, the while, for a while in here until our stragglers decide to get a move on again. But remember when I set up this group with the, these dorsets, they were trying to kill each other. The Suffolks in general, I find are a much calmer breed. Not always, we've had some that want to barrel the lambs over too, believe me. But this ewe is very, very calm and quiet. And because the other three have been here for a while, they don't mind a new one coming in. It's just when you first put the groups together that they can get a little squirrely. Now I'm sure if this uh, Suffolk goes over to the mom though, she will let it know that it's to keep its distance but the mom is hovering over it. See, she, see, she's excited. But it's, scary, it's scary, these white ones coming towards her, so she run back to mom. It's just like a little kid with uh, when you bring it to kindergarten and it's holding on to mom's skirt or pant leg. It's the same with the lambs. They have to learn to meet new animals. That suffix not leaving her lamb got a dorset that's uh, actually challenging her a bit. That's why she's walking up with her. She's not walking to be friends. She's walking to make a point. Now she's past her, so it's okay. Uh -huh. 
It's all about getting to know your place in the flock. Laurel, we're going to let you guys out. I'm telling you, this weather doesn't make us smile. And this weather is actually normal weather for March in Eastern Ontario. What we were having in the past with the double digits and the warm temperatures and the no snow whatsoever is almost unheard of in this area. But you get a little spoiled when you feel like spring is coming early and then it starts snowing. It's kind of depressing. It's like taking a step backwards. Before I go in to make dinner, we got Arnie up here. He's putting some creek feed out. Arnie, we, we had a bale stacked in the corner here for the cats. And the lambs have been eating it into a mushroom. And I was having nightmares about the bale falling down on the lambs. So I told Arnie he had to take the bale down before someone got crushed. And he thought the lambs would jump on top of it. And I think he's right if it's on the round because it's kind of like a little mountain with a slope. Ah, I gotta get that lamb out of there. One just ran in there. And so he's going to try to get it on his flat, but now i got to get all the lambs out that just went in there. Arnie put Maisie on the bale, and I don't like it. Help her. She's scared, Arnie. Help her. She's scared. She's scared. She doesn't want to break a leg. Maisie, you're a darling. Bring her down. Bring her down. Bring her down. Oh, so that song. Get back, get back from where you're coming. Is that a song? Does it go that way? <laughs> no, Arnie. I'm going to leave if you do that. That means there's probably a nail sticking up. Stamp on it and maybe it'll go back in. You probably don't need it anymore. Oh yeah, probably not. Huh? Probably not. It's probably something to trip on. They're pretty big now, aren't they? As I go back editing this, I realize I'm all about safety and Arnie's all about doing things that are funny, which aren't funny. Ah. So even though those bales have been sitting here the whole time, now it's going to be like a, a local attraction. Yeah, they're acting like this is, this is the most exciting thing now, because it's something new. It's been here the whole time. But see this bale here was on top. And if you see that bale, well, it's kind of hard to see with all these lambs there, but They've been eating away at it, and it was like a mushroom, and it was getting ready to collapse. And that's the last thing we need. But the kittens still, they're not really kittens anymore, but they still hide in behind these bales. That's why I wanted the bales in here, because yeah. it's kind of their home. I give them about, uh, I give them, what is it, 48 hours in a day? <laughs> yeah, no, 24 30. hours in a day. I give them about, uh, 52 hours and they'll be on top of there. What time is it now, hon? Well, it's okay as long as they don't fall into something. Because if they fall behind the bale, then they're going to hurt themselves. I think if you had it on the round, they would climb up for sure. It's pretty difficult to jump that high. The corner one's lower. Just, but they ju but, just... But... the bale up on the round and set it right in here. 
Well, that's right, but you can't get your skid steer in here. But now it's very exciting, so they'll eat off it anyway. Okay, we got someone who's trying to come through but can't. Oh, it's my girl. Hi there. Are you having a hard time, honey? Would you like to come through the gate? Would you like to come through the gate? Here. Come on through the, <coughs> come on through the gate. That's my pet. She's a pet. But this, this one, it's this one. Can't get through. Do you guys want to come through? Come on. It's going to be a problem shortly. You got to start getting prepared to pull some out. We have to pull them out of the mothers. Because we don't need sheep getting stuck. Yeah, well, we got to find room to put them somewhere. Come on. It's pretty amazing that at two and a half months old, these sheep cannot fit through the creep gate anymore. <laughs> Hi, honey. Here. You know what this is? This is a, a 90-day project. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> 90 Isn't, days. It, look at, and look at that perfect tail. That's the example how the tail fits right in the butt cheeks. I'll show you here. I don't think she's in love with me here. I think she's doing the, I'm a coyote, she's doing the stealth mode. I think I'll disappear. Isn't she pretty? I think that one's got a brother that looks just the same. Let's see what the tail looks like. Come on. Let me show you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Show me the tail looks like. There. Perfect length. Well, alright. I think that's about 80, 90 pounds. Look at this one too. But you yes. Hi sweetheart. She, she like she likes to be your friend, but she doesn't like to be posed. And see that little fat one you were petting over here? Wants to get out but doesn't know how to get out. Hi, you're you're a keeper, I know. You are a keeper. Extremely happy with how Knockout did for us this year. Um, there's duds in every flock, but uh, in this group, there's a lot of really above average lambs in here. to believe they're lambs, some of them. There again. <laughs> Hi, there. Hi. Hi, darling. And here comes Cammy. Hi. The two pets in the group. Hi, there. Hi. Yeah, we saw you the other day. You're really nice, and you're really nice, Cammy. Some of us have to go make dinner now, so I'm going to head back to the house. Sorry there's not a lot exciting happening on the farm right now. Um, we're between lambings. Still busy for us. It's always feeding and watching sheep and it's busy, but it's not as entertaining. <laughs> Except for the snow blindness, like, it's just terrible. Anyway. Thanks for joining us. 
and hopefully when you join us tomorrow it'll be a much nicer day <laughs> bye for now